What is going on guys and girls? It's Ghost Robo and we are here with Uncharted 3's full multiplayer. That guy rocking a nice subway shirt here. We're playing some Team Deathmatch on London Underground, a brand new map here. As you can see, I'm level 5. We got some level 6 in here, but also up to, all the way up to level 34. So the, the, the people playing, some people clearly are super hyper, amazingly into this, already up to level 35. We're rocking the villains. You know, my dude with his, uh, his, his red tank top. Here, I'm excited to get into it. I played a couple matches. It seems really good. Um, I've got a, a team objective video for later. That's really cool. That 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 mode is awesome. It's sort of a, a cornucopia of different modes smashed together. But this is team deathmatch, kind of the main main most mode, you know, for any multiplayer shooter. Sure, we're gonna check it out. Um, the damage model seems to be pretty high. You can take a lot of damage in this game. And I'm just still kind of getting used to cover and all those sorts of things and where you have to be. Oh, sweet! It's one of the ones that starts with an event. Awesome. We're starting on a. On the train, this is crazy and amazing, and I love, I, like these. They make it old after a while, but I love that, like, you know, like it, it's something totally different. Like, how many? Ouch! How many games have like these opening events like this, where it starts on like a crazy, you know, on, on a freaking train like this? Like, it's it's so uncharted, and it's so like the. Uh, oh, I've been killed by a grenade. That's something you're gonna get used to a lot if you play this <laughs> multiplayer. Is that uh, grenades come from everywhere and eat you alive? But, like, this is like like single player in multiplayer. These like amazing missions where you're. Uh, it starts off, you know, it starts off the, the, the 50 count deathmatch on on a train. Like, what? Who, who would ever think of these things? Okay, we got this this girl here. She's just chilling. And she pops up and hopefully kill her. Hello, I'm a villain. I ranked up level 6. That's a good rank up. And our team is struggling. We only have two kills, but I am uh, doing the best I can for my squad here, my boys. Um, there's Elena again. I don't know if it's the same one or not. Uh. Great. Killed from behind. Insta-kill. Thank you. Murdered by a girl. What do you know? Our big, strong muscle guy clearly does not have very many neck muscles. Oh, um, that didn't last him very long. The graphics, I think, are really good. I love the color. Like, I think... I, you know, it doesn't look hyper-realistic, but I, I love the way that Uncharted 3 looks. I love the way Uncharted 2 looks. And I'm just a huge fan of the very colorful um, maps and, and, and graphics that they have created. I think there's, there's nothing really that looks like it, and I think that's pretty special. As you can see here... Sometimes guys get all over you and murder you to death and you go rolling down the tracks like a hippopotamus. Um, death is kind of a, a mandatory factor in Uncharted 3, I feel like, unless you're some pro that I've, I've yet to see. I've, everyone I've seen has died like a bunch of times. Like, I haven't seen anyone come out unscathed from any of these modes and, and really super high kill streaks seem to beat something that's non-existent. Like, literally, I've never seen anyone. I mean, I was playing Team Objective. You'll see that video you know, a little later. It might already be up. Um, but the, the person I was, the person who came in first place in Team Objective, they uh, they were like 12 and 30 or something, and they had the highest score of, of all because, you know, you're going for objectives. And I just don't think that it's a game where super high kill death ratio is something that's going to really ever factor in. It just seems like a game where it's more about, I don't know, more about maneuvering, more about tactics and a lot less about having the perfect kill-death ratio, and because of a grenade spawning, or spamming, and because of sort of, there is the ability kind of to spawn kill, I've spawned and killed instantly from behind, like you saw that instant kill, I don't know that you're going to find like, oh I went 30 and 0, um, we're t teleporting now from the train, the awesome little intro there, to the uh, the main station, and, and those kills all count, now they're going to stay, you'll see that the score still remains 9 to 15, um, power plays, what are those, in Team Deathmatch they're they're different uh, little like modifiers, so now we, if we kill the VIP, we get for 60 seconds we get extra points. Um, there is a, uh, a nice little turret here that I'm going to try to use. Please, you let me use it. Okay, so if anyone comes in our region, I'm going to blow them to bits. Like this girl, she walks over here. Please, I want to use the turret. Hello, spin up. No, this is horribly inaccurate. Maybe we can be able to pick up one. There is the, uh, the the marked man. He's over there. He's climbing up the walls. I'm probably going to get killed from behind on this turret. I probably should leave. Can I get up here? Yes. Get down, sir. Oh, frozen connection. <laughs> That saved his butt. Um, he didn't then die. And now he's going to come in trouble because uh, that's kind of how the game works with grenades and all that sort of stuff. Okay, let's go try to kill. This guy's just chilling up over there, hanging out. Um, there's treasures, which are pretty awesome. Kind of just little perks you can go pick up, like it might be a cool gun um, or something of this sort. Um, your your perks in the game, sort of a la Call of Duty, are called, um, they're called boosters, and then your kill streaks are called metal kickbacks. The cool part is you'll see I'm, I'm, I've got four out of eight medals for my metal kickback, and those will last even after I die. They will um, they'll maintain that four. So I've got four right now, and then you'll see when I spawn here in a second as this guy makes a weird jump. And I'll spawn on my buddy, you'll see that they, uh, they totally come back. And these guys are both nasty. And I kill one and get killed by the other, but I picked up a medal. Um, I kind of want to make sure I get that medal count up so I can show you my RPG. There's a whole lot of other kills you can unlock, but right now I just have the first one. Um, you can get something, you could get like, uh, 
a faster sprint speed for a while for 20 seconds you could get an rpg and then it goes all the way up to crazier and crazier things um so it, it's pretty awesome i like the multiplayer i kind of wanted to use this time to give you a, a really good feel and kind of explain a little bit because i have played a few matches um rather than uh normally i i, I would have recorded my first match but the audio got cut out um, which was awkward and totally unexpected um so that's why you're, you're getting a little bit more uh, a little bit more knowledge out of me um for uh for, for this one here, which is which is good, because you'll get to see. I thought that was a person. It's just like a pig thing. Or a statue child, or I don't even know. Alright, so we're getting a power play here. They they get power plays as well, um, where they might be able to see us. Or, okay, so exposed. So we can see now. All of them, should we should be able to see them a little bit easier, which is kind of cool. Um, they, the grenade thrower, of course, as you can see. That's a big part of the game, and I've been killed from behind. I, there's no, I don't really have a good sense of um, peripheral vision. I don't know if there's perks or boosters that you can get to upgrade that, um, but to me it seems like that is the, this guy is just doing nothing. What are you doing? Chilling in the corner. Lovely. Um, it just seems like there's nothing, no real way of finding a, a, a good, a good feel for your periphery. Like, there's no mini-map, and like, see, like, I, how am I even supposed to know there's this dude behind me? What the heck is he, like, what the heck? I had no idea. I'm, I'm the top of my team here at 7 and 8. They've got a good guy at 11 and 2, but again, he's level 35. I'm level 6. I just turned level 6, and he's level 30 freaking 5. Like, I don't know, maybe it's because there's not a lot of people playing, but the, the, the matchmaking right now is very unbalanced. I'm sure as more people get the game, obviously, and when the game actually launches on November 1st, um, there'll be a lot more people playing, and so you can actually have matchmaking, but right now it's just pretty goofy. Um, level 35 is playing with level uh, level 5s, I don't know, it just doesn't... There's dude right there. There's dude right there, where's he coming? I kind of want to take him out. Um, oh, jeez. own here. I double team, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Um, when, when you're a double team, you might as well just give up. And the red team, the heroes here, are pretty darn strong at 38 and 17. Um, I'm trying to hold my own. I'm trying to get back above above 500 here. We'll do our best. Uh, but it's tricky when they... Because, like, it really is a game where you buy so much stuff. Perks, boosters, upgrades for your guns, you know, faster reload, bigger scopes. Um, that those higher levels are going to be uh, make a huge difference for you. And we've got this arm micro. And I've also got... What do I have? I've got my AK... Let's see. Here. Climbing. Um, the verticality is great. The, like I said, I think the graphics look really good. The controls feel good. I'm enjoying it a lot more in the beta. I don't know if it's just the map or what. We've got a dangerous train coming through. Hello. You're a good guy. Okay, I want to make sure. Like this guy here, he's going to take me out. Probably. Yo, I got him. Nice. The dangerous kill as I fall down. I'm like a freaking Spider Man here. Okay, there's a treasure in here. Oh, jeez. Hello, get down. No. Insta kill with her. George Washington revolver, or whatever the heck that fat gun is, <laughs> firing, firing big, big steel slugs or something. I don't know. Buckshot, but we'll spawn here. Hello, sir. See, my team just like seems to have trouble taking guys out. How am I even helping out when when they're you know so great? Grenade throwing. You don't seem to lose any health from falling, which I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, hey, get down. Double kill. All right, we took each other out like that, girl boy double kill that kind of seems like something that would happen very easily um, this is a brand new map like I said this was not in the beta the ones in the beta were airstrip and chateau both of those are still obviously here in the full multiplayer um, but I don't really like I, I, don't, I definitely don't really like airstrip it's not one of my favorites at all um, and hopefully if you guys like this I can bring you a lot more in chart 3 both now and uh, as we lead up to the game releasing on uh, November I mean, first and after it releases and maybe set some community stuff I've already got my clan tag is there's a robo here, so hopefully we can um, uh, hopefully we can do some community stuff as well. Uh, but yeah, definitely uh, let me leave me a like if you enjoyed this. We lost, we did terrible there. I count my three assists as kills, sort of. It's my scores, so 12 and 11. That's positive. I'll leave my team even at level six here, facing off against level 35. What you're supposed to do? Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it again. Like I said, um, I've got a team objective video coming up sooner. It might already be up. I've got a uh, character customization walkthrough looking at all the different multiplayer loadout things like that and i can definitely do more uh, do more multiplayer if you guys are enjoying so leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think have a fantastic day until next time everybody we'll see you all later